And now, another episode of Crit Camp Gaming. Oh man, oh man, oh man. Are we hyped for day number two of Root? What? That's right, Lyle has already, how would you say this? Uh, ventured into the wilderness, ventured into the woodland, as we might, and right, say. I'm on it. It's September 24th. It is Thursday. <laughs> and we are here to play some Root Digital. My first time taking a look at it digitally. Lyle ventured into it when I was away and he was holding down the camp solo. Uh, he dug it, says it looks beautiful, sounds great. I mean, guys, check out this awesome, awesome music. Yes, this music is so good. This is the, the OST, the original soundtrack for Root when you open up the game for the first time. It is sick. It gets you right in the mood. The The cinematics as you open it up are great. Um, it's awesome. And I'm not going to go too deep into it. I'm not going to go too deep too deep into this awesome theme that this game is based around. As Lyle, I'm sure, did an amazing job of it. Um, he ran through the tutorial a lot. I have briefly ran through the tutorial um, and uh, was just seeing where kind of like buttons are and stuff like that with the UI just so I'm not like fumbling around too much. Um, when I'm showing you guys what this is about. Um, but this is just a second opportunity to show it to you as we're not officially here to announce, but I believe you can go take a look right now on iOS and Android as the game is officially in mobile release today. Uh, we saw on Steam, and I put it in the Discord, uh, that they had announced back on 4th of September that the game, their goal, Direwolf Digital's goal, um, was to get this game on mobile by the 24th. So the 24th of September, and I looked on the iOS store, and it's $9.99 there, so you can go get this game right now. What? Three, yeah. No. I'm going to try to get to the root of this game, Evil Ed, and how are you today, sir? Um, so you guys can pick this up. It is cross-platform, um, and today we're going to be playing some multiplayer. I, I'm not 100% sure if Lyle took you guys on in the end or if he just kind of stuck in against the AI to try to get used to it. Because if, if you're not familiar with Root, you haven't played Root, um, I personally have only played, I think, once or twice physically in person at PAX Unplugged with some good friends from Twitch, um, some good friends within the industry, and just people who love the game. We sat down, uh, played the game. We had, like, pros. We had two pros running around back and forth with the rules, and then uh, which was super helpful. In this game, you have a major advantage if you understand, and I'm speaking about the base game, if you understand the four um, core factions, if you will, um, within this game, which are the Marquis de Cat, the Eerie Dynasties, the Woodland Alliance, and my favorite, the Vagabond. Um, if you understand their win conditions in this asymmetrical board game, um, then you have a big advantage over your opponents as you can kind of follow what they're doing. Now, I'm going to be jumping into this, refreshing myself, and don't be looking for next level strats for me because I'm going to mess up a lot. I'm going to miss out on all kinds of opportunities. I'm going to be kind of bumbling around. Um, but I want you to see like how good it's looking and how awesome it is that they've implemented this into the digital world. Um, and it's going to be pretty fun. And I'm going to do my best to play the Vagabond um, as I assume. I'm, I'm undefeated technically as the Vagabond. As those who have played me at the PAX Unplugged that were pros got defeated by me. Aha! The Vagabond, I call it the Stabby Stab Master, going around causing problems. Uh, as you can see, I've got the, the, the hilariously hung Aaron, the House Aaron banner from Game of Thrones. So, uh, Chaos is a ladder, guys. Chaos is a ladder. Sansa. Sansa, I see a throne. I see a throne. So I like to play as uh, Peter Baelish as I can in Root. Um, but yeah, we're going to be going around. Asymmetric game. Each faction has its own win condition. We're going to be racing to 30 VIP. VP to try to get the win um, as fast as we can, doing different things uh, and that kind of thing. So uh, before we do that, if no one's hopped in yet, I mean, we went live today at 1.30, sent out the tweet. Um, I want to give people a chance to catch up with us and get in. I'm going to take a look at it. I might actually jump right into the tutorial and just do the Vagabond look-see. Um, we'll kind of play through the Vagabond look-see to kind of get a feel for what they're doing. And then I'm going to set up a multiplayer game and take you guys on. Does that sound good? I think that sounds all right, huh? Sounds all right. But again, go get it on Steam right now. You can go get it on Steam. That's available. And uh, you can get it on iOS. And I just, I believe Android. I believe one of our campers, I believe Reld posted in chat that he saw it in the Android store. Um, and I said I saw it in the iOS. So confirmed, this game is on mobile. It is cross-platform. And once we get enough people, you know, four at the most, 
we will uh, set up a multiplayer game and we'll check it out and see how well it's running. It's going to be good. It's going to be good times to wrap up the week this week. It's going to be a lot of fun and prepare ourselves yeah. to take on Lyle when he gets back from his trip next week. Maybe we'll do this Monday night if you guys are psyched or something. We got we got lots of stuff to take Lyle on. We, we're going to put Lyle to work next week, man. We're going to put Lyle to work. All right. Are we ready to go? Let's get into some root. Yes, I'm excited. Let's do this thing. Let's get in here. I'm going to start with this tutorial here. And as you guys can see, I've already kind of gone through the base tutorial just to kind of see what's going on. These three will be locked when you first start up the game. Um, this gives you Marquis de Cat, which is kind of, he builds a bunch of warrior guys and he runs around and he tries to take out the Eerie. Tries to take out the Eerie. Uh, that was where Peelish, Peter Baelish uh, hails from. Uh, the Eerie, the birds of a feather right here. You can learn to play them here. And you try to take down their roosts and you get VP for, for destroying bases and building, um, using, you get logs and stuff like that, wood, to build buildings. You get VP from building buildings and the like. We're going to dive into the Lone Wanderer. Um, and we're going to see what it's like to be Peter Baelish as a raccoon causing problems together. And so you will also see where I'm clicking around. And if you've played this game a lot, or you've played the digital version a lot already, please offer tips. Um, maybe say things I should touch on. Don't hold back in chat. We really appreciate you guys interacting with us. That's why we do this. And let's have some fun. It's a sport. The wily vagabond wishes to gain fame or infamy in the midst of this brooding conflict. He scores by completing quests for the creatures of the woodland and by aiding and harming the other factions. So I work. Chaos is a ladder, guys. Chaos is a ladder. Again, I'm not going to go into what's happening right now. It's basically game setup with these two other factions. In the tutorial, we'll be playing against Marquis de Cat and Woodland Alliance. All right. Your Vagabond character is represented by a single pawn that can move and fight like a warrior and begins in the forest. Okay. Being early rises, Vagabond slip between forests and clearing eats bird song, which is the morning phase, I should say. I'll hop up here. Uh, it's not going to let me. It's got it over. But I'll show that later. We have three phases. We have bird song, day, and night phase on a turn or in the game. All right. Um, let's slip into a clearing. Let's do it. Here we go. These are my actions. Now, each character has actions they can take. For instance, in Marquis de Cat, let's see if it'll let me see it. He gets... No, it won't. Okay. At the top there, you can see your action link. Um, Marquis de Cat gets three actions, like move, attack, build, stuff like that. Remember again, this is asymmetric. So each character, each character you play as is going to be different. With the Vagabond, these are my actions in the bottom, in the bottom right corner. This is specific to the Vagabond that we're learning. Your available actions mostly determined by the items you hold in your satchel. The Vagabond has a bag. When an item is used to perform an action, it is exhausted. You can't take that action again until the item is refreshed in Birdsong, the first phase. The morning. Ruins are runes are scattered across the map that hold new items for a vagabond. Explore the runes in your space using your torch. Ah, zombicide. We need a torch to search. This is common thread that runs through board gaming. I assume they were inspired by zombicide. Ah, leader games. Letter games, leader games, later, leader games, later games, later, later, later games. I was, I'm not hunt for that. Explore the ruin to get stuff with my torch item. So I'm currently here. As you guys can see on the map, with my mice gun, my mice. You've got runes, and we're going to explore them to get stuff. Stuff will give us actions with a vagabond. We got a hammer. Explore gained me a VP and a hammer that can be used to craft cards from my hand. Move into the mouse clearing to your right to craft a card requiring that suit. Now you guys will see that in the clearings they are, are marked by various types. You got mouse, you got the, I believe the foxy guys, these guys here with the foxy faces. The bird ones will look like birds, stuff like that. Um, you have to do certain things based on your cards. We'll have suits in the top left corner of a suit to do certain things. We're gonna move into the mouse clearing as per the tutorial. So I have a boot I can use to move. So we're gonna go to this tutorial, just like tutorial. Today. Tommy Vulgar, how's it going, Chris? Tommy Vulgar! 
Each hammer I exhaust contributes one toward crafting cards with a cost matching the suit of your clearing. So I can build as long as I have a card that matches the suit of my clearing. Collecting more hammers will allow me to craft more expensive cards. This has to do with uh, my character sheet, which I can't get to right away. I'll show you later. But crafting things, each hammer you exhaust contributes one toward crafting. I want to up my crafting by building things. Collecting more hammer will allow me to craft more expensive cards. More hammers, more expensive cards. Craft a mouse in a sack to score one VP and gain an item. Here's how we gain some VP as the Vagabond. Zoot root right. Oh yeah, dude, what up? Whole cards and chat. Good to see you guys checking out Root Digital. My first time. It's looking good. So we're going to craft this card in my hand so that we can gain some VP and gain a sack. And we'll learn what that's for using the hammer we just found. Okay, we're going to get it. Tink, tink. We got a bag. And we got a... V we got some... V the number of items you can hold is limited to six in slots in your satchel generally. But every bag I require increases it by two. That's why I can hold eight. The amount of standard items, sword, crossbow, boot, torch, hammer, you can store in your satchel bag by two. Cool. The satchel, money, and teapot? Is that what you guys would call this thing? Kettle? The kettle? It does look great. Sounds amazing too, Holgard. It doesn't take up room in your satchel and provide their effect automatically without needing to exhaust them. We'll get to that later. It has to do with my character card and things I can do on my turn. The more kettles and money I have. Most of your items are exhausted, so let's end daylight and rest. Let's end the day. It's time to sleep. We draw a card. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Okay, everyone else is taking their turns. Like I said, Marquis de Cat is all about making warrior cats that go out and fight things, take down people. The Woodland Alliance is all about, like, gain... What is it? Someone can probably clarify this, or I can probably say it a lot clearer if I do this. I come over here, the Woodland Alliance, they hide in the shadows, recruiting forces and hatching conspiracies. They begin slowly and build towards a dramatic late game presence, but only if they can manage to keep other players in check. So they're going to kind of move into other areas and kind of build up. What do they call it? Like they have a sympathy track. So they have a sympathy track. They gain outrage. They get mad. Stuff like that. Like I said, I'm not super familiar with every faction but I'm going to try to keep up. During Birdsong, you refresh three items on my turn. This makes their actions available again, so I can refresh three of these items I use to take actions. Ah, I see the Woodland Alliance has a crossbow for trade. Slip into the forest above you to head their way. Okay, let's go. Now move into a mouse clearing sympathetic to the Woodland Alliance using my move boot. So I'm in this forest. This big area here is actually part of it. So I'm, I'm attached to all these clearings that are lit up right now. So I'm, I could go to any of these. It wants me to go here because we're learning to do this better. Polkart says, first time I played was the bird faction, the Eerie, the Eerie Dynasty. Um, yes, no, they're, they're, just so people know, the Eerie Dynasty are the Hawks. They try to take back the woods. They must capture as much territory as possible and build roosts before they collapse back into squabbling. Yeah, the, the Eerie Dynasty does things called like decrees, uh, and the decrees allow them to take more actions on their turns. And they have a leader. If they ever fail at doing a specific requirement on their turn, your leader fails and you have to move to a different leader who will have, I believe, a different requirement, if I'm right. Again, we're gonna learn this in time as we get better at root, but they can be a little, yeah, everything is all, every, What's great about this game is that every faction, I keep calling them factions, I'm sorry if that's not the right word to use, but every type that you can play as of the four all do something different. Some of them are a little bit more thinky. Some of them are a little bit more, like I call the Vagabond, stabby stab, cause problems guy. Um, some are just, you know, fighty fighty stuff, but it all interacts with each other and what your in game is and what your other players are doing and how well versed you are in the game on stopping others from getting the v 30 VP win condition before you, right? So it was hard, you did not do well, but next time you would probably do a lot better, right? Which is cool. Um, it's all practice, right? <laughs> you can give a card matching your clearing suit to another player in your clearing to improve your relationship with them. 
Okay, so this is this little heart down here. It's my aid action. Exhaust any item and give a card to a matching in your clearing to another player in that clearing. Take an item from that player if possible. So this is how I get items from people. Okay, we're in a mouse clearing. So I'm gonna say I could give it to the cat or the mouse or the you know, Woodland Alliance. It says give it to the Woodland Alliance. Because he has a crossbow. We can see he's got a crossbow there for trade. Yes. Um, blue cards, guys, in your hand. The suit at the top there has like a hawk claw. These are wilds. Okay. So we're gonna. It's, it, that's why it's having me play that. You must also exhaust an item of your choice to aid. Exhaust my bag. If the player you aid has crafted any items, they will give you one in return. Give me that crossbow. Yay, we're friends. Okay. Got some VP for aiding. That's good. Thanks for the aid, friend. Be careful with that crossbow we gave you. Exhausted items always take up room in your satchel. That means that my boot and my bag are exhausted, but they're still taking up room. And won't provide their effect until you refresh them. Let's learn about that. The crossbow can be used to remove warriors without needing to battle. You can even use crossbow to remove a building or token, so as long as its owner doesn't have a warrior there, use it now on those unsuspecting kitty cats. Take this, Moscato. Thup. Got him. Got a bow shot. Hunga! That's Wily Vagabond is no friend of the Marquis. Oops. I probably should have mentioned that killing enemy warriors will make them hostile with you for the rest of the game. Such... Once an enemy is hostile, your enemy's infamy scores you an extra point each time you remove one of their pieces in battle on your turn. So if I make some, so now I want to kill kitty cats. If I kill the little kitty cat guys, I'll get victory points. However, you must exhaust a boot to move into spaces with hostile warriors. Ah. Use my stabby stabs to battle their weakened army. The maximum number of hits you can deal is determined by how many stabby stabs I have, even if they are exhausted. Now, I'm not going to go into how... So, I can briefly touch on how the battling works. You're going to roll two dice... <coughs> ...that go up to the number three. Zero to three. Both players roll these dice. Because I am the attacker, I get advantage. Um, now that I've got advantage, I will take the larger number of the two dice, even if he rolls the larger number. Um, I The amount of attackers are based on the number of swords I have, and the number of attackers the cats get is based on the number of warriors he has in the space. In this case, it's 1v1. Definitely be playing Fall Guys next week, Ben. See how you doing, buddy. I hope, I wish you luck on scoring it. Oh, there we go. We got the one. Anyway, boom. We take out the kitty cat. Boom. Got him. Got him. We're all done here. We're done here. Okay. Here we go. All right. Oh, yeah. Let me know if the game is too loud, guys. Let me know if the game is too loud. I saw Bincy didn't hear me. I'll be playing Fall Guys next week, Bincy. Good to see you, though. And wish you luck on getting the crowns. Okay, the kitty cats are attacking me. The kitty cats have crazy advantage. It is definitely not a fair fight. I am going to get wrecked. When you take hits in battle, you must damage enemy. I, I must damage my items. You can choose exhausted or unexhausted items. Okay, so instead of my dudes dying, I actually get items busted. So I don't need all my bag space at the moment. I don't think I need the crossbow right now. So this has to do with what I'm going to be doing next turn. We're in the tutorial. So let's just get rid of the stabby stab for now, right? Or yeah, let's get rid of the stabby stab kind of like thinking ahead on your turns, right? All right, my, my items got destroyed. I used them as tools to defend myself. I stabby stabbed one. They don't like me. Okay, so he's building... He's obviously doing stuff around the land. Whatever the Woodland Alliance really does. They're gaining... What did they say? The recording force of the hide in the shadows. Yeah. So they're trying to keep people in check. Okay. I can drink some tea. 
I can refresh three items. So I can refresh broken items as well. I'll just have to repair them. So I'm going to refresh my foot because I used it last turn. Um, these cats were really mean. I'm just going to do my weapons because... Well, I should probably repair my bag, right? So I can have more space for getting stuff. Many of my items were damaged in my last battle and are useless until I repair them. Evil Ed says, off topic, but Walmart will be selling Fireball Holiday Eggnog later this year. <laughs> oh, gosh, dude. <laughs> like, Fireball, like the, um, the cinnamon whiskey or cinnamon vodka. Isn't that what it is? Ugh. Do you ever notice, Evil Ed, that, the fire, that Fireball is uh, always the house deal like it's always the special it's always on special at least in new york city it's like wherever you go it's always like ah two for one fireball because <laughs> that stuff is savage dude <laughs> slipping into the forest lets you repair all your items during evening and will protect you from being tacked on enemy turns up into the hole there are a few actions you can take in a forest press continue to move to the evening all right let's see what we can do in the forest as the vagabond Okay, I'm repairing my items. I can repair my items in the forest at night. As long as I'm in the forest and it's nighttime, I can repair. All right, everyone's doing their turns. That sounds savage. Actually, here in Pennsylvania, due to liquor laws, uh, they are not allowed to sell alcohol at, like, Walmarts or gas stations or, or stuff like that. You actually have to go to state-owned liquor stores and beer distri distributors for alcohol-type stuff. But I'll, I assume that they will have things like that in these places. So he's gaining influence in all these places, I assume. We're going to have to learn how the Woodland Alliance works, but... Looks like they're doing a lot. Alright, so he's got a boot item, and he's got a bag item that he's crafted, it looks like. Okay, he's building a bunch of dudes. And drew a bunch of cards on his turn. Alright, he did a lot of stuff on his turn. Now that your items are in top, top shape, you should be ready to take them on a quest. A bear is rampaging in a mouse clearing nearby. Slip there to see if we can help. All right, we're gonna slip. I wish I could show you guys this thing on what I can do um, on my turns, each section. I guess we'll see that once we play the game just to refresh ourselves. We're in tutorial mode, so. Okay, I get quests. There's another thing I can do as a vagabond. Select your quest action to see what you'll need to fend off a bear. Bear. Crit you mads in chat. You have what it takes to fend off a bear. To complete a quest, you need to be in a clearing matching its suit and exhaust the items required. So I'm going to fend off a bear. And I need a torch and a uh, crossbow to do it. Okay, let's do it. Take your reward. The victory point reward for each quest is increased by one for each quest I have completed in the same suit. Ah. Thank you for the bears in chat. That have been do I want more cards or do I want points? I want points, man. We're here to win. I've got a lot of cards in my hand. I don't know what they do, but we're here for the points. After you complete a quest, you draw a new one. You can review your three active quests anytime by selecting your quest book. All right, we can guard duty. We can repair a shed. So we can go hard questing mode, huh? We could give a speech. It's all based on what items we have. Okay. Cool. I like doing quests. Reach the next relationship level with the Woodland Alliance by aiding them twice in one turn. Go ahead, let's do it. I can click the trees. How fun. Clue. Oh, there we go. To improve relationship with the second and third levels, you must aid two and three times, respectively, in a single turn. Wow, so that means I have to give, I have to use my aid action two or three times respectively in a single turn um, and get some items. So I could do it twice here. All right. That's good. We can get a bag and another boot. Other players don't have to have items for trade to aid them, but you do have to give them a card. Okay, okay. Each time you increase your relationship with a faction, you gain more VP. When you reach the final level of your relationship, you become allied and earn two VP each time you provide them with additional aid. So I could just go hard aid strat, right? With cards, card aid. Perform actions using items. Okay, so... Okay, so now it's letting me kind of like go on my own here. All right, where, where, where are we? Can I hit a button to kind of just find myself? Okay, I'm right here. Okay, I'm right here. We're just gonna do this 
to get to get good, right? We're gonna do this goal we have over here for the thing, so we can get through the tutorial, right? I'm gonna aid the Woodland Alliance right here twice by giving them a mouse card because we're in a mouse section here. We've got two mouse cards here, so it doesn't matter which one. I'm just this is this is for learning. Um, we don't have. Oh, well, we're gonna need our bag, right? Because we're we're gonna take his stuff. We have one, two, three, four. If I exhaust the bag, it's gonna take up space, so I don't want to do that, right? We're not fighting this turn, so let's let's give him a stabby stab for another bag. That's pretty good. You know, this is I don't know. This is probably not strategic at all. Your effort is appreciated. Your effort is appreciated. Aid us again to show you are a true comrade, comrade the alliance. Let's aid him again. We have two hearts to do. I don't know why the screen keeps bumping me off over there. Choose a card for aid. There you go. Now we have all the stuff we had before. Um, we get, we exhausted the stabby stab. Um, I'm not going to be constructing anything, right? Maybe I am. Well, we're going to get a boot. So let's just exhaust a boot for a boot, right? Get a boot for a boot. Boots for boots. Give him some cards. There we go. All right. Another. Explore another route. Complete another quest. And score 15 VP to complete the scenario. Let's do it, guys. Let's do it. Let's next level this thing. Let's explore a route. We don't have a torch, though. Our torch is exhausted. Until birdsong. So I want, the thing I wanted to show you guys is up here. When you go to your player board, this is kind of the digital version of the root player board. I can repair items during the evening's rest. These are like special abilities. Lone Wander, your pawn is not a warrior. Cannot be removed from the map. Can move without ruling a clearing. So I can move around anywhere I want. This is my satchel. I have these three quests. And here's my relationship track with each other faction. So right now I'm good. Right now he hates me. The bird dudes I don't even think are playing. So they're not here. Uh, and I have two cards. Right? Um, okay, so on my turn, to to repair items or, let's see, refresh items, that has to be the bird. So I'll go with the best camp on Twitch, Bentley Beaver, as we play some Root Digital for the first time myself. Uh, it is returned to the camp. Okay, so I to, re to, to refresh my items and get my torch back, I need to get to evening. Okay, so what quests do we have? Let's see here. What do we hurry We have a hammer and a boot. No, none of these require a hammer. We need a torch for everything. Hmm. So we can move, basically. Um. We can't fight. We can't build anything, even though we're in this right spot, right? Oh, maybe we can. Craft a card from your hand. All of your match your current clearing. Okay, so what can we do? We could get we could get a kettle, or we could get some money. Forget what the money increase is. What's the money increase? Money increases the amount of cards. Draw this many cards in the evening. Each money stack draws one additional card. So I can get more cards. This this would give me more cards. This allows me to refresh more items at night? Yes. Which gives me more actions. Do we want more actions? Yes. Okay, so let's construct a card. We're going to construct root T. Alright, each kettle I have increases the amount of items I can refresh during birdsong by two. Ah, not just one. Sweet. Ding, ding, ding. Nice. Level up. Um, now we have quests and we have a boot. So, we could move to another clearing and do a thing, or we could just stop, right? Continue to the evening. I mean, do I want to move somewhere safe in case the kitty cats try to kill me? That'd probably be a good idea, right? Maybe I'll maybe I'll duck out. Eh. Let's just let's just chill. Let's keep this moving. Let's keep it moving, right? Anybody try this on mobile yet? Anybody downloaded it to mobile now that it's out? I want it for mobile. I want I want to know how good it is. And then I want to take on some multiplayer. I want I want to take you guys on. We're, we hope to play you guys 
today. It's gonna be a lot of fun. All right, things are happening. I wish you could zoom out. I just have to zoom all the way out. The camera doesn't really follow the action. We got, we got people fighting each other. Okay, he's doing a lot of stuff. He's mobilizing like crazy, whatever that means. Oh, I think that means make dudes. Wow. Dang. What is this up here anyway? The supply. Craftable items. Okay. Settings. Okay, so on our turn. Okay, so during birdsong, I can refresh three items, plus two items per kettle I have, and then I can slip into a clearing for a forest at no cost. I think we're going to keep trying to get some... Oh, it looks like uh, the kitty cats took out our allied bros. Hmm. And I technically don't have to slip away. I could stay here and attack this cat. But do I have to, do I have to be in the forest to refresh? No, I can refresh without being in the forest. Forest allows me to fix my item, so we don't need to go to the forest. I'm going to skip the slip action. And I refreshed all my items because they're refresh five, and I have way less than that. Hey, Chris, I've been debating getting it on iOS. I just have to go have it on the go instead of Steam. Yeah, dude. You should totally... And it's cross-platform, not yet again, right? So we could totally play if you're playing on your tablet. It looks great on Steam. I mean, it's easier to stream it for you guys on Steam and stuff like that, but we could do the mobile check. All right, we're going to fight this guy, dude. Um, since he's our, he's against us and he's mean, we're going we're gonna to crossbow him over here since he's a he's our enemy kia that's like an insta kill free vp right what i thought i get a vp for killing for killing um dudes i don't like what don't don't i get a vp for doing that the vagabond must exhaust one additional to enter a hostile and scores a point per hostile piece removed in battle. Did I did I miss that or is it just because we're in tutorial mode? I'm gonna turn down the music. The music is awesome in this game. I'm just gonna turn it down a little bit. That was weird. All right, let's. Maybe you scored at the end of your turn. Uh, maybe, maybe. Good point. So I have a torch. Why can't I? Oh, I can do it. Rune, rune. Okay, let's do this. We got a stabby stab. We got a sword. Oh, it is giving me the points over here. So I got the VP. No, it didn't. It didn't give me this, the stabby stab points. Hmm. That's weird, huh? All right, what's our quest require? Do we have to be... We have to move to a spot to do this. So we're currently in this mouse clearing. We need to get to, like, the rabbit clearing or whatever this little thing is over here. Uh, mouse, mouse. We could come down here, actually. Uh, and pull this one off. Or no, pull... Let's see. We Do we have a torch and a kettle? We have a kettle and we have a... Oh, we exhausted the torch. Oh, we need a torch and a stat. We need a torch. Why'd I waste the torch? Dang. What's this one get us? In Birdsong, you may discard this to score one point for clearing your rule. What? Don't need that. What's he got? He doesn't have any items, but I can still gain some V... Some VIP. All right, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to spin a foot. We're going to walk down here. We're then going to... What? Why, why can't I craft here? Is this just because we're in the tutorial? Should I be able to craft this bake sale card with my hammer? Oh, well, we're going to aid this guy anyway. Let's do an aid action. Let's give him the royal claim. Um, he doesn't have any torches. We could get another satchel. Another stab. Another foot. Um, we're going to try to go for the stabby stab points, I think. Why not? Let's do that. Let's get some stabby stab points. Okay, so I can aid again. Since I couldn't pull this off, I'm just going to do it. 
Um, and we're gonna take another stabby stab just to make us stronger and stronger. Oh, I have to exhaust. Okay. Guess I'm 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 not paying attention to my my things here. And do we have any reason to move? Let's see. I draw cards when. Um, take actions using items. Resolve quests. That's where we are, right? Yep. Take actions using items, and then evening. I think we're just gonna stay here. I think we're done. Unless there's. I could move up here. I think I'm gonna move up there. Moving up there allows me to get this. Uh, get this thing. Gets us more items. We've got space for three more items. So we'll see what they do, and then we'll move ahead, huh? He's got real chill. But how do you think it's looking? Not yet again. Isn't it looking great? I think I think the the art style of the game is totally is awesome. They I mean, well the art style of the game in general, just the board game's great. But digitally, it, I think it's looking real awesome. Clean, clear. So far, I don't feel like I can't find an answer um, to something, right? I mean, there's a lot to this game, but if I want to sort of figure it out, it's very clearly arranged in terms of, like, your player board and stuff like that. I think that's huge. Ugh. Uh, this little thing keeps happening all the time, though. It keeps zooming me into this random forest up here. And this could be because of the tutorial. All right, five items to refresh. Our quests, we need torches for sure. Whoop. Torches. Torches. Um, let's get some quests done here. Uh, torches, we need a stab and a kettle. Um, I don't think I'm using my, uh, my thing there. Do we want to slip away? Slipping away really just helps us move around a little bit more, and I think I'm going to skip my slip. Skip my slip! Ooh, unless I want to... get to a mousy section a little easier, huh? Where's a mousy section? It's kind of up here. By mousy section, I think it's this little... Well, this is for construction. I need to be... I need to be in the mouse. There's birds and there's mouses. There's birds here. I mean, mouse is here. I think I'm going to skip this again. I'm going to skip my slip. Sure is. So we're, we're kind of batting 100 lately. We're kind of bad. I really enjoyed Spirit Island um, for the depth of that game and being able to get into it. I'm still going to explore it a little bit more as I'm, I just was overwhelmed by the amount of things to do. All right, it's my turn. Um, we're right here. Uh, I think we're going to... Let's try to complete a quest so we can get this goal done. We can repair a shed. <laughs> Guys, let's get to work. Let's repair a shed. But Spirit Island's been looking real good. Wingspan looked great. Sounded great. Looked great. Um, yeah, this last week's been great. Now, Blood Rage Digital, get back to it. I know. Well, it's been updated. It's been updated, not yet again. They just put out more DLC for it. We need to return to it. It looks amazing, Blood Rage Digital. Blood Rage Digital sounds great and everything. I think just the flow of it was just cl clunky. And viewing everything, they almost overdid the visuals to the point where I couldn't see what I wanted to see. Um, with that game being... It's it's simp it's actually a, like Blood Rage is actually pretty simplistic in terms of like a battling you know miniature type placement, and it, it's like when I couldn't tell how many dudes were where or what you know what I mean it was like what is going on so I'm not bashing because I haven't seen how they've updated it but I need to get back to it also this there was things happening remember that when we played it but that was early on that was like launch day all right let's repair a shed we're here for points not cards. Completed quest. Am I done yet? Did I win? Did I win the tutorial yet? Nope. Okay. Where's my... Oh yeah, we just used it to complete the quest, didn't we? Oops. So that means we've done one of each bunny quest thing. Okay. Still don't understand how the level of quest goes up. It did tell us, but I'm a little, uh, I'm a little lost on that. And I'm still trying to figure out why when I kill cats, I'm not getting points. Thank you. 
So let's go kill some cats and try this again, huh? Plus he's in our thing if we want to craft. We don't have a hammer. If I had a hammer. So we could go two to two. Yeah, I don't have a hammer to craft, right? So we need to rest up and get our hammer back. Um, or, no, I don't have any aid actions, huh? Exhaust any item and give a card matching your clearing to another player. I think this wants us to go fight, is what it's wanting me to do. Oh, we can aid here. I don't know why it wasn't allowing me... Oh, I, it wasn't matching the clearing. Oh, I was looking at the wrong thing. This is a wolf. Okay, I can aid here. So I think we're going to aid, and then we're going to fighty fight. Let's get this aid up. I just want VP, man. I'm just playing this fast. Uh, let's exhaust the... Uh... Now I'm going to keep my kettle. I'm going to keep the stabby stab. We can sack one little satchel. They don't have anything to trade us. So whatever. And then let's fight. Let's fight these cats, man. Let's find out why we're not getting VP. Come on one time. Nice. We got him. But I think I take... Two damage. Uh, let's get rid of this. Um... Let's get rid of a boot. Nice. Oh, 2v2? How come it was two? Oh, because I only had two swords. Okay, we got him though. Woo! We got one VP. So I think I get one VP per two cats because they're my they're my rival now. Or whatever. Um No, it says one per hostile piece removed in battle. I don't know why that one counted, but the other one didn't. Huh. Maybe it's a tutorial thing. Maybe a tutorial thing. That's what I'm going to call it. And uh, we're done for the day. We're done for the day because we don't want to fight our uh, good buddies here. Okay. We're moving along. Oh, there's a Marquis de Cat. You run the tutorial with Marquis de Cat, you'll see they have Field Hospital is one of his special abilities where if he loses any guys in battle, like he just did, he can play a card of that suit type for that section and get it back get without having to recruit more dudes. So I'm familiar with a few of these uh, factions, but not a ton of them. Uh-oh, Outrage. The, the one I'm most unfamiliar with are Erie and Woodland Alliance, and they're fighting each other. He is mad. All right. So this turn will end the tutorial, and then I'll be taking you guys on. So if you guys, have, if you've picked it up, not yet again, or if anyone's picked it up on Steam, um, I'm going to be starting up the, the the games with you guys and trying some multiplayer here um, in two seconds. After this tutorial thing, just to get myself used to the Vagabonds, we're going to be doing multiplayer mode. So if anyone wants to actually just play with me, or take me on and crush me if you want an easy. So technically we're against our buddy here and he is dominating the game if we were playing an actual game. So I might've wanted to like try to stop his advancement, right? <laughs> if we were playing a real game. Let's go to our quest. We need our torches and our swords. We need lots of swords. Torches, swords. They have five. I, I, I can I can unexhaust all these things. Um, let's build a card, maybe. Yeah, because I'm not gonna slip away. I'm not gonna slip away to repair anything. I keep skipping my slip. Skip the slip. Oh, and Birdsong may take another random card from another player. That player scores one point. Ooh, I guess I'm just gonna use that to aid him. Just for one more VP. And if I get this item down here, I think I get a VP anyway. Oh, I can slip away to another thing. I don't have to slip away to the forest. You have a damaged item. You can exhaust a hammer with a repair. I'm going to fix the damaged item. Gotcha. But I'm not going to do that. I want to get VP. Got another boot. Got a VIP. We're just trying to get to 14 VP here, guys. Um, and then we're going to aid him with this. Sack this. Good. Cool. Ooh, he has stuff. Give me swords. Yay! We aided him. 
So he could use that against me at some point, but I would get a point. Okay. Um. Can we play? Can we play quest? No. What? Uh. Repair an item. We can fight dudes. We can run back. We can go fight someone. Are there some cats we can fight anywhere? Ooh, over here. Okay, so we can run here, run there, and we should be able to win the game with that, right? Oh, I could repair. It won't even exhaust, though. Yeah, let's just do this. I'm just trying to find the qu quickest, most aggro way to win here. Speed run. Do a... What? Why is that... Oh, because he's a rival. Dang. That's too bad. Oh, I have a quest though now. That's available. So let's just do that and get that VP. Boom! We won the quest. We won the tutor tutorial. Boom! Tutorial one. Yay! We did it! Tutorial completed. We are vagabond pros, guys. Even though they had way more VP than me. <laughs> Challenge mode. No. Because the best challenge is the camper challenge. Am I right? Yes. Let's go. Online playtime. All right, guys. Let's check out how online play is running in this game. Hey, hey. Hey, hey to the global chat. All right. So it looks like we can... These are my active games and my browsing games. People are looking for stuff. They're all private games, except for Awesome Monaro. I was in no business game. You can go 1v1 or recreate a game. So let's see here. Let's see what's going on. Let's see, let's see how... Is anybody not busy right now? That would like to play and try out digital online route at the moment. You can be on iOS, Android, I believe. Everything's cross-platform. We'll just have to see what it requires to find you. I guess I would just set up a game and tell you guys the password. Because this is how Lyle and I are going to be playing it. I'll tell you that. I'm going to be the Vagabonds. Got to gotta train. AIs. Uh, we'll just close it up. Meh. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty cool. Wait, you can't go Vagabond v. Vagabond. Or is this just saying what I have available? Oh, you can just remove factions if you want to say you can't play as said Vagabond or something. Uh, turn timer? Three minutes? Three days. Three minutes? That's insane. Can you change that? No. It's either three days or three minutes. You literally have three minutes to take your turn. Well, I kind of want to play a three-player game, so I don't see anything going on here. People are working. All right, gotcha. So I'm going to go join a three-player game here. Let's check out some of these games. They're all locked. Everyone's wanting to play computers. We could take out Asmorano's game. What's he doing? Tyrant, no, nah, this is going to be too asynchronous. Working, lurking. All right, working, lurking, working, lurking. All right, how are we going to do this? I might have to play the AI then, guys. If no one's up for a game this morning, no one's up for a game today. Everyone's at work. Everyone just wants to see me play, huh? I could play Vulcan's game. Is he three minutes? Oh, here we go. I think I'm going to join him. And then... Uh, can he adjust this to be a couple players? We could see. We could see if he can adjust this to be just a couple players. Hmm... I don't want to sit here too long and then leave his game. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Because I don't think he can start it. We'll just create a game. Let's see if someone joins, huh? Let's do this. Let's go. And hopefully they stick around. Vagabond. Closed. Closed. Let's go at least three players. Two players. <laughs> Two players, one AI. Let's do that. Two players, one AI. Let's go with this. Create the game. Let's see if we get one guy. So if you guys are sitting there and looking to play, come on in. 
take me on. I believe the game's just Crit Camp's game. Yep, right there. Crit Camp's game. You'll see it if you go to the online mode and are ready to go. Waiting for one player to take Crit Camp the Vagabond Master on. And as we wait, as I'm a, as I'm a wait, as I'm a wait, I owe you guys some wheel spins anyway. So let's spin the wheel here and get the wheel spin song going. This song is going out to Asterion and his gift to Quiverheart. Thank you so much, guys, for joining us yesterday for some uh, fall guys. Those guys have been awesome. And Quiverheart, actually, yesterday, what did we get? 10 push ups for Lyle. Oh. Yesterday, Quiverheart set the, the Crit Camp Fall Guys record. This is 270 for Lyle now. Um, Crit Camp Fall Guys crown record at two crowns in one stream. Two crowns, one stream, dude. Two crowns, one stream. Congratulations to him. Bentley Beaver, welcome to the best camp in the follow. We've got another spin for Ice Master as we wait here. Let's fire this as Ice Master spin. This one goes out to Ice Master joining us last week during some fall, guys. The awesome sub train that went went down. It was amazing. So Ice Master, thank you for that support. Oh, and it's a bean. Can't have a day without a bean, huh? Let me know if this music's too loud, by the way, guys. This isn't working out. It seems we're not getting any hits. Dirty Dishwater or Birthday Cake, courtesy of Ice Master. Mmm. It's Dirty Dishwater. This is one of the worst ones. All right. We're giving up on this. Where's the hype? Where's the online hype? Why is everyone so private, you know? Oh, we got a game here. Oh, yes, we got a game. Let's get into Vrookton's game. Here we go. Three minutes per turn. AI difficulty medium. Here we go. We got a game, guys. We got a game. Let's go. Let's go. And we could pick our faction we wanted. Now, I'm probably, like I said, don't expect next level plays. Expect me to get savagely beat. So we need one more player in Brookton's game if you guys want to play. Brookton's game, we need a fourth player. As we do one more spin here as we wait. This spin here goes to Ted Brandom coming in last week with his prime sub in the sub train during fall, guys. Thank you so much, Ted Brandom. If you'd like to play some online. Online good stuff. Oh, five burpees. As we wait, as we wait. I mean, this is still early. This game just coming out on mobile, not at 300, not at 300 burpees. Close though, close. So we appreciate that support, guys. We appreciate that support. 292, thank you much to Ted Brandom. And Asterion also gifted a sub to Captain, who did great last week, almost won, almost won a, a crown. So congratulations to him. Whoa. There we go, this goes out to Cap. This goes out to Captain. Last week, playing some Fall Guys, playing Fall Guys with us yesterday. A lot of fun. Makes it rain! So if you're hanging out here, that's courtesy of Cap. That's courtesy of Cap right there. Makes it rain for everyone. Let's get 15 crits to everybody for that bonus. Good stuff. And he wasn't here to get it. I don't know if he is. Oh, we got one! Yes! We've got a player! All right. So thank you so much there, guys. Still have a couple more spins, and we'll get to those in due time here. But everyone just got some crits, so. Start the game up, Vruckton. Animals are ready to battle it out. Let's go. Here's the team, guys. We've got Vruckton playing the Eerie Dynasties. We got TV Remote, the cats. We got Mies, the Vagabonds, and the Wise Salmon. As the Woodland Alliance. It's game time, guys. It's our first time entering Root Digital Online. Three minutes per turn, so my brain is going to melt. And again, I'm only familiar with, like, two of these factions. I, I gotta get good. He's gonna place his keep in one of the corners of the board here. And we'll see where it ends up. Okay, okay. Let's go on top right. It's a good choice. Where would he like a wood, a wood shop? Ah, uh, okay. Keep an eye on this. Where's he gonna put his recruiter? 
Okay, we want the dudes over there. Ah, the Yiri. He's choosing a leader. So these guys have various leaders on their turn. And let's see if we can find it anywhere. It, it basically tells them they require things. Despo, if you remove at least one enemy building or token in battle, score a point. I think this is his current leader up here. Dispo. Oh, maybe not. See, I, I'm not super familiar. It's something like he has requirements. Each Vagabond character starts with different items and a special ability that can be active by exhausting a torch. Choose your character for this game below. Ooh, maybe we just start... Steel Hideout Day Labor. Take a card from the discard pile matching your clearing. Take a random card from a player in your clearing. Repair three items and immediately end daylight. Ooh, let's go with the thief. Let's steal some stuff, huh? Let's get cards. Get cards. Gain friends. Okay, we got the Eerie down here. I think we're going to try to fight the cats. Is that smart? We'll just keep fighting the cats. So I think I'm going to start... Let's start here. This seems the most, like, strategic point, I think. Okay, so he's considering a revolt. Okay, he's spreading sympathy across the land. Let's see. Okay, here's our whole board. I'm here. Okay, he's spread out everywhere. Okay, we've got some sympathy down up in here. Okay, I can sympathize, I can sympathize there. Sympathize next door. Okay, good. I, I think we're going to go the tutorial strat-wise. But I think we may try... I, I, I think this... Okay, yeah. I, I'm going to have to play as them in the tutorial one these days and see... See how these guys work. Okay, it's TV Remote's turn. He's got three minutes. He's considering crafting options. So we're going to go for... We've got all these actions, guys. What's that? Steel, take a exhaust a thing. We've got these three things. Nobody has any items. I should, oh, that's right. I don't get to see where... I need to get some items. So we're going to go after the... Uh... Okay, he tossed a card to get more wood so he can build stuff. He's going to get points for building stuff. I think I'm going to go get items is what I'm going to do. Move all enemy pieces in fox clearings. Travel gear. Ooh, I could go. I don't have any hammers. I need to go get a hammer. Root T. Do we have any quests? Give a speech. We need to go get some tea kettles and some stabby stabs. We have one stabby stab. Okay, so we got we need some items, man. Nobody has any items. Two VP starting off the game. And I'm right here, so where do we want to slip to? I think I'm going to slip over here. Where's my turn timer? It doesn't even tell you a turn timer, does it? I don't see it anywhere. I'm scared. I think I'm going to start by slipping here. Okay. I think I want to do some aiding. I could aid here because of this fox card. Remove all enemy pieces and fox clearings. He would love me for that. Uh, let's do this first. Let's see what we get. Oh, if I had a hammer. So I can now build one of these things if I can move. I can move. I can move to the mouse over there to get me another foot and a VP. Do I want to do that or do I want to fight here? Fight this cat? Become, his, become mean with him? Ooh. I could build this root T though, dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, we're moving. We're moving here. I'm gonna move over here. I'm gonna build this root tea. Get the tea kettle. So how do I steal exhaust? Oh, I don't have a. I need a thing there. Okay, I'm staying. I'm staying up with him. Do I fight him? If I fight him, he becomes my enemy, right? I could aid the cats by aiding the cats. Do I want to aid the kitty cats? I could give some aid here. Should I do that? I kind of want this. 
because I want... No, I kind of... I'm going to aid him. I'm going to aid the cats. Let's see. Let's become friends with the cats. Let's become friends with the kitty cats. Ooh. How do I see what they have in their inventory? That's the question. That's the question. What am I going to exhaust? Well, I don't need to have one of these right now. I think we'll have a... I think whatever they craft will have a thing next to their name. What's this mean? Supply. Available dominance? What, is, what does this mean? You may draw a dominance card from the supply by discarding a card of the matching suit during daylight. What? 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 Should I get this dominance card? I don't know what that is. I'm not going to claim dominance. I feel like that's a bad idea. Sorry, guys. Sorry for the slow play, everybody in this game. Let <laughs> me in my turn. I got a card. Okay, this guy's doing all kinds of building decrees. He's moving along. Choosing a clearing to march from. So he's going to be heading out from here. Down the bottom left corner. The Eerie is moving. I feel so blind going up against these dudes in the Eerie and not being 100% sure what they're doing. I do understand what the cat's doing. I understand what I'm doing and understand what the cat's doing. Oh, dang. So he headed up there, and now he's going to move again up there. He's going to build two of these things. Gets two VP for building roosts. Dang. Okay, well, we're winning, guys. We're just going to make points fast, right? All right. I mean, I don't know. I don't know if I should befriend the birds or the cats. But this is going to keep me alive if I get in trouble, right? Or it could help the cats out, right? The cats? Let's see what this dude's going to do. He's going to build some sympathy around. Placing some sympathy tokens. How does this thing work? In if spent for suit, make available. Hmm. I should have played the full tutorial. Because I don't remember this card in my physical plays. You win the game if you rule three fox clearings at the start of your bird song. So I don't ever rule... I'd have to be in the clearing, right? To actually rule it. So this, this is, like, not my thing. That's not for me to worry about. That's for them to worry about. Okay, he got some travel gear. He got a boot. We can go get a boot from him. Boot from the cat. Oh, he's he's battling. Cats beat the wolves. 2-0. Oh, they're mad. He gets a card because they got mad. This guy's got mad cards right now. I don't think you can rule clearings as a vagabond. Right. That's what I'm thinking. That card is irrelevant, even though this little crown is like bouncing around. Cats are fighting them again. Dang, man, he's just wrecking these these wolves flying up the VP track right now. Okay, I think we're going to have to take these cats down a notch if they're going to be flying up the track like that. Can't have them doing that. Where do we want to go? We've got a wild card here. I need to get some... Let's see, when do I draw cards? I draw cards. I draw cards. At the end of my turn. Okay, uh, I drew cards in the evening. I drew cards in the evening. Okay. So I slip away, and then I'm going to refresh some stuff. What am I going to refresh? Um, I need a teapot, and I need one of these. So I need to be... I need to be in a, like a... Like a hmm. Wolf clearing? I, I might go there. And go give a speech get some cards, huh? 
also get his foot, maybe? Um, let's see. What's a steal? Exhaust a thing to take a random card from a player in the clearing. Ooh, I like that. Ooh, but I needed to give a speech. Dang it. Um, do I aid? What can I craft here? Remove all enemy pieces and fox clearings. I could remove all these enemy pieces. That's pretty savage. In battle. Um, I think I'm going to do this. And then I can aid... I think I need to take the cat down, man. The cat is being not cool, dude. Cat is not cool right now. All right, let's go with this. Let's draw some cards. Let's see what we can get. Let's see if we can get some stuff. Wow. That is a ton of aid I could provide. So for every two, I think I get a VP if I keep going. Whoa. He would love that card, man. In Birdsong, may take another random card from another player. That player scores one point. Hmm. Yo, what's up, Filth? How you doing, buddy? How you doing? Craft a card from your hand. All your card clearing. Okay. Um, in Birdsong, may take a random card from another player. So I can't craft that. What What is it that I can craft right now? Oh, I can craft this. I don't want to do that. That's not what I want to do. We're checking out digital. Ooh, I could just. Okay, I'm gonna build some. I'm gonna build some stuff with this guy. I'm gonna help him out. Actually, no. Let's help the cats. Let's just go hard cat help, huh? Let's go hard cat help. Love. Oh. Let's do this. Uh, let's exhaust. Um, thank you for the oh, thank you for the three four months sub, Woody. Woo! Just mid midway through here. I'm not gonna stab anything. I will take that. Chrome the cat. Take that from the cat. Um, I will then aid him again because I want to build up my. Uh, I'm gonna give him this ambush card, and I'm gonna give him a foot that he just gave me, or I'm gonna exhaust a foot, I should say. Get two VP. We're going to keep up with him. Um, we could aid one more time, and I think that would give me more VP, right? Remove all enemy pieces and fox clearings. That's pretty good. I think I should do that. Come down here. I'm going to go here. Oh, I could give him this too. You may discard this to ignore all rolled hits taken. Um, I'm just going to do this. I'm going to give him that. And... Um, Let's just this foot. Let's just the foot. So we can get five right there. Oh, Kitsume with the tier one. Woo! Coming in at 33 months. My gosh, guys. Thank you so much. Amazing amount of support. We're getting crazy VP right now, guys. Um, I'm thinking of using this armor's one. I'm just gonna keep I'm just gonna keep giving him stuff. Is this wrong? Should I not do this? Probably not. <laughs> I probably shouldn't be doing this. And I got a card. So I thought it was if I... So I just aided him like crazy. In one turn, the relationship and scored two points. Progress towards this goal is represented by filled in the pips to the right of the heart. So, so because I'm really friendly with him now, what does that mean? What does that mean? What does this mean at the end of the game? Yeah. So I need to give him three cards next time to get another VP from him. Is that the idea? It gets harder and harder to sort of build an alliance. Is that what I'm gathering here? I'm trying to get better at understanding the aiding action. been a long time but and you're on vacation kids awesome dude yes 
Now you need to carry me in Rocket League, says Woody. Woody, we almost played yesterday in the new season, dude. We need to, I need to, we need to carry, you need to carry me, man. We need to work on our carry. I've been getting wrecked with the new season because everyone's reset. And so you got all the nuts players killing it. You never played Rude Kitsume? Wow. I thought, I thought you'd be one that, and you're well-versed board gamer, man. That you'd, uh, oh, we got to take these birds down, cat guys. Come on, cat guys. Is this the chat? <laughs> Everyone's talking about it in chat. This is the this is the game chat. Ah, cool. Why am I last to go? It's assigned randomly. Dang. <laughs> Determine the starting player and seating random order. Is that option? It's the official since the beginning. Okay, okay. Ba ba ba. Honestly, I've lately had fun with the cats. Birds are far from my favorite. Hate playing vagabond. <laughs> Everyone doesn't like the vagabond. Okay. Whoa. When Vagabond is in the clearing for a Volt, they must damage three items. Oh, so we're Volt hits. Oh. Oh, you want to fight, huh? He wants to fight. Um. We're not going to be using that. Dang. So we're Volt as he just AoEs the whole... Vagabond. Oh, okay, whatever. Vagabond. These guys are next level players. They know their game, I think. Yeah, it's just either too expensive or out of stack. We'll get it digitally now, man. It's also on iOS and Android right now. I think it's both $10 on iOS and Android, and it's cross-platform, Kitsume. So I'm practicing. I'm learning to get better to take on Lyle next week and you guys as we do some big camper games of this. It'll be pretty fun. Hmm. He's doing stuff. Okay, TV remote. Yeah, I've got a lot to learn in this game. It looks great though, sounds great, flows great. I'm just so out of practice in this game. Like, I'm just sort of messing around for science and trying to Get, get the fast VP, man. Which games did you get in today, Kitsune? Said he just got in some Kickstarter games. I must ask, which games? Okay, here we go. Marquis is choosing an ability. Cinder and Cutthroat Caverns. Okay. He's going to get more dudes. The cats are our buddies. I'm ganging up with the cats to take down the fox. He's mad. I think that gives him a card, right? In battles of defender, you use the higher roll. Attacker uses the lower. When an enemy encounters or destroys sympathy, they must add a card matching the clearing to your supporters. Okay. Sympathy track. Okay, so he's got stuff for me. If I want that tea kettle from him, I gotta give him some stuff. But then, Ox for hire. Ah! This guy's taking out birdies. Yeah, I think I like the cats. I mean, cat strat, cat strat fever, right? One, two, three. Um. Where are we where are we ducking to? Where are we ducking to? Where are we ducking to? We're ducking to somewhere near the mouse, the yellow mouse section from here. Um, cats are my buddies. Cats are my buddies. So I think I'm gonna dip, jump up here. I think I'm gonna go here. Oh no! I needed to. Oh, I get to refresh. It's not a problem. Oh, I need to repair though. I needed to go to the woods. Dang it! Dang it, I needed to repair these items. Can, I can't exhaust them? Or can I exhaust damage items? Oh, I have a good one. I don't want to do that. Oh, uh, shoot. That was a mistake. I needed to go to the woods to repair these so that I could use them to get my quest off. Uh, um, 
and I don't have a hammer because it's dang it misplays misplays for days guys maybe I'll just go for I can either go for this box and get a VP or I can try to steal from my kitty friend um, I could also run over here no I can't ah that was a bad play that was a bad play now I'm now I'm freaking out this cat though is making a break for it I don't want to take him out um, I think I'm going to explore. But I don't have space for this. What do I do? Um. Uh, let's explore. What happens if I don't have the satchel space? I just can't equip it, right? Yeah. Your satchel's overcrowded. At the end of a turn, you must discard an item. Arr, I knew that would happen. Because I need to get a bag from somebody, right? Shoot. Um, that wasn't very smart, right? So it's the end of my turn. I've got a quest. I could expel one of these feet. And I won't be able to refresh as many things. I'm going to have to go to the woods, right? So I might as well do this. Wait, what's this? You may ambush in a, in a mouse clearing. At start a battle, defender may play to deal two immediate hits. Okay, this is a defense card. So I could bounce over here and get my... I could bounce there. Or I could just walk all the way over here. Let's walk all the way over here. This is my cat town. Watch out for the Marquis Field Hospital ability. Warriors can be healed and no delay when removed from the keep clearing. Gotcha. Crit knows, guys. Crit knows. But I'm not I'm not attacking him here. He's my buddy. Crit, no. I was going to go give him this ambush ability. Here you go. I will exhaust my foot. I'm going to end up tossing one of these feet anyway. I got too many feet. So that gives one. So I need two more to go up and level there, huh? And then I guess I'm done. I don't want to attack him. Dang, man, I, I'm misplaying these turns bad. I'm overcrowded. Item to discard? Let's get rid of a foot. Actually, let's get rid of a broken foot, right? No. Get rid of a foot. Got rid of a foot. Ugh, forgetting this game, man. Vagabond. Learning games. Misplays. What? This chat room's a little bu buggy. Misplays. Within the lines, feels like they can very quickly, very quickly score points at the end of game, even if other players try to stop them. I don't know. These people know the game a little bit more. What do you guys think? Do you think Woodland Alliance, if you're familiar with Root, is... OP. Leave a comment if you think Woodland Alliance is too OP in this game. So far from my experience, I mean, like, I actually made a huge... When when I was playing at PAX Unplugged with everyone, at about the same knowledge level I am now, I had people kind of coaching and explaining. As I went along, I was able to, like, sort of really dig out a win with uh, the Vagabonds. I don't remember if I was playing, like, Thief... I don't remember this ability of using a torch to steal a card from a random player or anything, but I felt like I was able to come back and win without getting wrecked. I don't know. Leave a comment below if you think Wood Alliance is, or who you think the best, the best is. Man. We're just here to learn and discuss and get good. Get good. We can click on the trees for fun. Dirt. Up here in the mountains, can't do that. Use a minute. Pop, 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 pop. Okay, cool. What's going on? Do we have little animations while we wait for turns to be taken happening? We got a little movement, but just no. So we may be starting to go after it. Bake sale. Alright, we got decrees. I decree. So if I destroy these. 
Do I gain points for destroying buildings and stuff like that? He has six cards in his hand. He has six war 12, 13 warriors in reserve. Let's see what we can do here. Five refreshes. My attack level's only one at the moment. We got we got bluebirds being made. We got bluebirds. So no one's doing this yet. It's just there. I assume this is an in-game thing for a certain amount of VP, huh? Outrage! What's this thing? Get a bag. Ooh, I do need that. And a VP. That would be good. I think we're in a little lousy clearing, right? Repair some items. Whoop, he's making a move. Man, he's roosting up everywhere. Six roost, four VP, what? Those guys make some burst turns, man. So why do people hate playing as the Vagabond? All right. Sympathy. Throwing some sympathy around here for points. He's there now. He is there now. Everybody mobilize. Mobilize. Considering in some options. All right, dudes are coming out. Kitty turn. This turn usually goes pretty quick. He's getting some wood. How much wood does he have right now? Workshop sawmills, recruiters. Building stuff, he's getting a foot. Yeah, man. We had like a turn timer to see what three minutes includes. Right, cats versus wolves. Foxes? Not wolves. Okay, he's going. He's my kitty buddy. You're my kitty buddy. Kitty buddy takes some stab stabs. He's thinking his next action. nice that would be one thing if you could see like the turn tailor turn timer and stuff yay root i've been having fun with this today says bug and who oh man good dude i'm glad i'm glad you're enjoying it yeah we're checking it whoa that's loud applause you guys loved that bug and who comment um uh yeah man it's cool my first time looking at it i'm just kind of practicing vagabond playing some misplays watching these guys battle it out these guys are players though man they know what they're doing they're talking about it they know the game, so they're crushing it. But we're gonna, I'm preparing myself to take on Lyle and the camp. Bugginhu says the AI leaves a lot to be desired. Really? I have only played it in the tutorial, the AI. Not happy with it, huh? I know AI is a tricky thing, right? And it, I think uh, what what when we were at PAX Unplugged, I believe one of the things um, the good folks on the panel were saying uh, that developed these things when it came to AI, uh, someone was asking about um, that 
AI will improve over time, not just because they're updating it, but because they actually, I mean, they should do it beta more so, right? Like get lots of plays and see how players are moving and adapt. Like let the AI adapt so it gets smarter versus getting weaker, but I guess that can be manipulated, right? So maybe it'll get better over time depending on how they're implementing their AI. I don't know. I mean, I win, so I like it. <laughs> exactly. The bird AI seems like it really struggles. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I mean, there's a lot of decisions you can make in this game, right? I think a lot... Of what's cool about Root is there's so many, like... What I've enjoyed about it, or what I've experienced playing physically with people, is a big part of it is... Uh, uh, where do I get this mouse thing? Oh, I need to go to the woods, because I need to repair. I'm going to jive in here. Um, is the, the like, whole, like, hey, man, do you want to... Uh, do you want to buddy up? You know what I mean? I went to the woods... Oh, evening is when I have to repair, right? There we go. Gotta repair my stuff. Repair my stuff, get a card. It was a night night turn, night turn. That's how fast my turn. Ah! I can initiate a battle and get another satchel, which is probably good. If I move into some bunny, or move into the uh, the mousy villages, I have to go back to where I was. I mean, I'm technically still attached here, so I can come back to this village. Then I can craft. It's like, where, where do I get the most bank? Um, if I slip in here, I could do this. Then I could come down here. And I could get the explore action. Well, I could get this... Well, who had the satchel? I'm going to get the satchel from this, right? So I'm going to jump down here. Get the satchel. Uh, get the satchel. Yeah, craft. jump down here, craft the satchel. Move here. Explore. see what we get. Hopefully we get another sword and then I can maybe get this expel quest done? Or maybe that errand quest? Because I don't really need all that stuff right now, but we'll see. I don't know. This it, I don't know if I'm going, going about thinking of my turns the right way with the Vagabond. Like, if you were playing the bag, Vagabond Bug and Who... Help me. I mean, anyone in chat too, feel free to speak up and say your opinions too. It's like very helpful. Is uh, what's my what's my mindset generally with the vagabond in terms of like prioritizing, like going to the ruins. I mean, I'm do I'm playing the thief, so my ability, my special ability with the thief is that I can exhaust a torch to get a card from someone, which is nice. Um, should I be prioritizing gaining, like doing my relationships? I mean, besides just dumping cards on guys, like. You know, what, what is that really helping me? You know, I know I can kind of steer the narrative or give them cards to help them do things that I think they're trying to do, right? Um, which is cool. I like that. It's the Peter Baelish strat. Um, but I'm just, I'm, I don't know. I guess I'm still trying to find my, the value of each of these actions, these mini actions I have as the Vagabond. One of the nicest things that they did this would make it so it looks a lot like the tabletop version if you zoom all the way out. Yeah, you're right, it does. It does look a lot like the tabletop version. I dig it, man. Good call, good call, it is. No. I think my favorite thing so far is uh is uh how how the the music. The music's well done. Artwork true to the game. But yeah, this is a cool view, so you can see what's going on here. Nobody in your group ever... So he's moving down here. Okay, gotcha. He is entering turmoil. All the expansion factors are way more interesting. Ah, well, I, I saw that dire, uh, Direwolf Digital could not build in a clearing. 5 VP lost. Oh, no. He was going for his, uh, he had to dispose of his vulture leader. Oof, now he chooses a new leader. 
Royal Vizier. Royal Vizier. Okay, what's his thing? If you remove at least one enemy building or token in battle, you score a point. So what's his... Move warriors from a matching clearing. All right, so he's going to be trying to attempt to remove any pieces in a matching clearing where you have any number of warriors. Okay, so these are his things he's trying to keep going, guys. But why why, why are so many people anti-Vagabond? Just because it's just so simple? I mean, I think that uh, the cats do have a lot more going on. But if, would you say the Vagabond and the cats are the simplest in the base game? And then you move into Woodland Alliance and the Eerie for more advancement. And then you're saying... Well, I mean, with the release of the mobile version, I think there's uh, Direwolf Digital was saying that they're going to be coming out with what? The more expansions, maybe. They said more friends is how they described it, I believe, in the Steam posting. Yeah, so we'll just have to see. We'll have to see how it develops. We have to see how it develops. As the Marquis is pondering. I feel like these turns are more than three minutes. These are supposed to be three-minute turns. But I wonder if it's a three-minute timeout. All right, we got cats fighting, fighting foxes up here. Bugger says no good incentive to attack the vagabond. You don't get any points out of it. But somebody has to, or he can get really powerful in the end game. That's what I'm hoping. But no, you know, I mean, these guys know what they're doing. That's probably why they're not attacking me. So is that why it's good for me to gain relationships? Like, get my relationship level up high with a specific faction. Helps me move around a bit more. Or something like that. I mean, it's just harder for me to keep... So I, I get that. I Okay, I see the balance thing. Like, if I go to the... If I go over to the Woodland Alliance and I drop a card on him, it's easy to get a VP. Or is it 2 VP or something like that? It's a... Uh... What is it? 2 VP? 1 VP? Every time I pop a certain number. So it's harder for me to just keep dumping cards on the cats, right? I get it. But I guess that's how I control the narrative of the game, right? That's how I'm kind of like... Messing around. So like when I jump through here, I mean I still need to... And I have to do it all in one turn, that's right. So it's harder to... Okay, so my, my thing was... All right, let me just check something here. All right, I'm going here. Fresh three items, two per whatever I have. Slip into a clearing or forest at no cost, done. Okay, so I wanna move here. I wanna move here so I can pull off this. I'm gonna move here. So I'm gonna move here. What? Why, why can't I do this build action here? Oh, does it have to be... No. Craft a card from your hand. All of your matching current clearing. What? Oh, is it the cost has to be a mouse? No. What? Why can't I do this uh, craft of... Oh. It... Why can't I do this uh, crafting action? Card is mouse for crafting. Yeah, I'm in the bunny suit. Aren't I in a bunny clearing right here? Isn't this a bunny clearing I'm in right now? Right here? Why am I confused that I can't build this? The smuggler's trail. You need two hammers to do command warren. Yeah, yeah, not saying command warren. I want to do this one. I want to do smuggler's trail. Like, what? What? Why can't I do that? Uh, messed up then, huh? Because I was thinking of moving down here. Maybe I'll just move up here. 
or you need to go to a mouse clearing. It's a bunny card, but the crafting cost is a mouse. Ah. So I'm going to have to go. We have to do this in kind of a roundabout way then, huh? Oh, no, I can just jump over here. Not exactly what I want to do. Okay, thank you. I, I was just reading this wrong. Okay. Let's do this. These guys are like, this guy does not know what he's doing. <laughs> let's do that. And then let's do... There's no runes up here. I need some more stuff. I need to come down here, I think, and get some stuff. I think I need to move. Everybody move. Down here. I'm going to search. I'd rather get some more stuff from people. Um, I guess I can fight. I just lose stuff and then I would die, right? <laughs> okay, I guess that's my turn, huh? Thanks, Bugging You, though. So this means I have to have two hammers and a mouse to do this. And this, I have to have two bunnies. I was looking at this. I was looking at the suit, not the crafting cost. The crafting cost is on the wood board under the suit. Got it. I knew that. I just confused myself. Dang it. Ugh. I mean, cats are blowing blowing us away right now. I feel like we're gonna. I'm gonna have to turn my back on the cats and help somebody out. I was hoping I could maybe jump up, give the bird a card, give the, you know, just start kind of helping everyone out. Right? I'm supposed to be causing havoc. So I can I can refresh all my items. I am not hurt at the moment. But I get hurt if if I get stuck in a sympath uh, if I get stuck in an outrage battle with, with these sympath yeah these outrage crazy. The alliance uses sympathy card to craft cards and start revolts. I mean a revolt. Moving into a sympathetic clearing or removing sympathy causes outrage. Outrage is what raises what? Outrage. Oh. Okay. I'm seeing what outrage does. When an enemy encounters or destroys sympathy, you must add a card matching the clearing to your supporters. Okay, so... So I could go down here and, like, remove this sympathy or something if I wanted to get crazy but that doesn't gain me anything right destroying their stuff isn't my prerogative my thing is giving people cards taking cards getting items to do more actions I think uh oh revolt ah okay woofs you got more you got more fuchses Any token you destroy gets me points. Token or building. For Vagabond? Not as a Vagabond, though, right? That's only if you're a cat. But if I go in as a Vagabond to start destroying buildings, I'll actually get VP for that. Fights happening. VP is being acquired very quickly now. Yeah, for anybody. Oh, okay. Okay. Well then, good. I should be, I should be flying around then, huh? I should be jumping to places people are kind of leaving empty and trying to stabby stab some of these things you should just find more swords if you want to fight a lot one sword means you can only start one fight and you can only do one damage right I, I haven't been fighting at all my strat has been a not fighty fight it's been get items and give cards away <laughs> it's probably awful <laughs> I'm just like giving 
I'm just giving fuel to these guys to to lose. But they haven't been wanting to fight me then. I mean, I only got hurt once. Whoa. We're going to have a bird fight. Whoa, we're going to have a big bird fight in the north. Boom, boom, boom. Wrecked. He's going to take out this thing, right? And that's two points. As I recall. Yeah. Undefended. Boom. A lot of kitty cats tore that thing up. Yeah, I feel like the kitty cat's definitely the, the punchy, punchy warrior class for sure, right? All right, where are we going? I don't need to repair anything. I'm all done up. Uh, so with what we're saying, it sounds like I need to get somewhere. I could come down here and destroy this base. Which would make him angry, but it would give me a point. Um, I could then... I don't want to do that. I kind of want to get away. I kind of want to get... I need to get somewhere. Hmm. Where's some more ruins? This is easier to see. Ruins. ruins are up in here. Okay. So I can go there. Uh, that's not going to do anything for me. So I can go here. Search. And then it's kind of like I want to move from here. Okay. Okay, I'm going to go here. Okay, I'm going to go here. I'm going to search. Search rather than steal. Ooh, got some more swords. So that, that helps me stabby stab, right? If I choose to... If I so choose. I then can move. Oh, that's, I can't move there. That's not a path. I have to go down like this. I see. Um, I could go here and gain sympathy, I guess. Um, they're not my enemy, though. So that's good. I'm going to go here. Um... Oh, it needs to be a fox card. Well, I'll just keep moving. I'll just keep moving. I'm going to keep moving. I'm going to move over here. Okay. Now I can gain sympathy. Or give these guys some aid. Um, I will sack one of these for now. Or exhaust it. Ooh, when I get another one of these? Yeah, man. Stash that. You're my buddy. Got that VP. Loves me. And then I'm going to do nothing because I don't want to fight him, right? Fighting him would be kind of the altar. If... Hmm. So I get two, he gets two. I could fighty fight. But that would be dumb because I just gave him a card. If I fighty fight... Is there any reason I shouldn't fighty fight right now? I'm just looking for points, right? I'm going to fighty fight. <laughs> I'm going to go for it. I get the three, right? Oh, no, that's his thing. Oh, no. <laughs> that backfired. One... Oh, I guess I can break a couple things, right? Uh, I'm going to break that one. I will break this one. And this one. I don't think I need two of these, right? Oh, what? I can't break that? Oh, just two items. Okay. Dang. I'm causing problems, man. I'm just, I'm just going to cause madness to happen. These guys are like, what? Oh, I can repair a damaged item if I want with a hammer, but no. We're going to save it. Root T. I don't know if that was a smart thing to do. That was probably not a smart thing to do. See if these guys said anything. Yeah. 
I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I'm kind of learning. I'm kind of just doing things for science to see how the fighting works out. Obviously, it didn't work out because I fought the Woodland Alliance, which means when I kill little Woodlands, Woodland Alliance dudes, he gonna get mad at me now. Yep, I just learned that. Because they take advantage, right? That was kind of a stupid move. I should have fought the cats. But the cats are my friends. The cats are my friends, man. Yeah, I was kind of dumb because they have this ability, right? Or no, Gorilla War. That was kind of dumb. That was a bad choice because of their Gorilla War ability. Well, now we know. Well, now we know, uh... Little stabby stab guys do not do well. So these guys are moving, man. They're they're doing what they gotta do. And they're all getting direction. Like, I think I would like the Eerie because you kind of Like this this move decree, right? So now he has to keep moving dudes around to stay in stay in power. Like, this kind of gives you direction, right? It gives you, like, sort of a direction to go on your turn. I'm sure all of them do. And I'm just not paying attention very well. I'm not in the right mindset for the correct strategy at the moment. I can kill the corner roost on my next turn. Right, this one, this bottom left one. He's got a dude there. I've got two swords. Right? One, two. And that would be a good move, right? No, my, my, uh, I can move there for one, and I'll unexhaust my one sword, my other sword, which gives me two, but the, it, the thing is, I have to fight and win. Right? I'd have to fight and win down here because I got to kill this bird first and then I can kill the roost for one. So I have to get kind of lucky, right? I mean, that's part of the game, I guess. I mean, these cats are dominating, dude. He's got... There's a lot going on with these kitty cats. But you can tell he's got the most points, right? He's got all his points because of all his buildings. He need to start taking the cat buildings out. But then the cats are my friend. Cats are my friends. Oh, the damage overruns into even if you kill a dude, the, the damage still gets split to the buildings as well. They're not two separate attacks. Of course I'm going to roll a two. Why wouldn't I roll a two? This is crit camp. It's the one thing I'm good at is rolling twos. Unless twos are good, then I cannot roll twos. But I see. So, as a vagabond, I want to sneak down and do stuff like that, right? Like, look for um, look for weaknesses in everyone else's strategy where they kind of just... I want people to forget what I'm doing and sort of move around and disrupt the norm. Like, I want to destroy this. But then they're both not going to like me. Then I need to get some more feet, which I can get from my buddy, the cat. Right? So I want to go aid the cat. But I need three cards now to get this foot from the cat. So I should have... Ah! Now I'm like backtracking on what I should have done. I think that's the beauty of this game. And I'm only just now grasping it. I'm, I'm now just now properly starting to recognize what I should have been doing. But it really messes me up if I lose, right? If I go down there and take a beating, I'm gonna have to sack a few things, then I'm heading to the woods to, to repair my goods. I have to go to my crafting table in the woods. Okay, he's making a bunch of cats. Making a bunch of cats. Yeah, I'm still waiting to see if anyone's uh, played the mobile version. Or was it you, not again, that said you have played the mobile version, or you're waiting to grab it? Because you said you've been playing it all day. Oh, look at this. That's right. I get a free slip. Let's go. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's go with the bird. We're attacking these birds, man. 
Let's attack these birds. I could actually aid them first, right? I could actually aid them first to get another satchel. I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna try this. This is for science. I'm gonna aid them first. This is probably way behind. Uh, I will sack. I have to exhaust an item. I can't exhaust a damaged item? Dang. What am I not using? I guess I'm not gonna use this. Um. Ooh. Oh, but I need the space, so I gotta take this. There you go, buddy. You're my friend. You're my friend. You're my friend bird. Now I can fight my friend bird, right? I don't want to fight. I want to fight you, friend bird. I want to fight you, friend. <laughs> let's fight, friend. Uh, let's go. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I'm gonna try to fight him. Could have taken a sword and used his own sword against him. Oh crap! He's probably got cards, right? He's looking at his cards. He's gonna say, "I play this blue card from Magic." The start a battle. Defender may deal two immediate hits. All right. Um, let's do it to. Uh, let's just break these two things. Or do I need this sword? Is that a bad idea? If my sword's broken, I can't use it, right? Let's do that. So, that only kind of affects me, but if I can get... Oh, we got Actorin! We got the crit! Two points? Woo! Was that two points just from the building destruction, though? That was two points from... One from each, or was that two points for the building destruction? I'm gonna have a quest. Oh, I have just enough for this quest. Let's get that. Um, I'm so far behind on victory points, but I need some cards, right? And we're gonna be ducking into. We're gonna be ducking into the uh, the woods, I think. Let's get some cards. Although I draw a card, I think at the end of my turn. Yeah, I could have just. Oh well. Oh, I do it at the, I do it at uh, morning song, right? Bird song. Slip into a clearing or forest to then repair my goods. No, that's not till the end. Ah. So I'm gonna duck into the forest. I'm gonna sit there and do nothing. Or I build and then duck into the forest, right? Did I get anything I could build? Oh, this this would have been. This will be good if someone tries to hurt me. Ooh, not so great. Okay, I'm starting to see how I can use these cards in battle. You can attack again, though. I could attack again. But there's nothing to attack. You're saying I could move and attack, though. I could refresh my foot, get out, attack somebody, and then go again. I see. Ah, uh, the birds are mad now. Now the birds are mad. That I took down his bird bird nest. They're going for it. They're battling it out. Two, one. Kitties take the hit. Oof. Oh, he can destroy the wood, huh? Okay. Battle's gonna end after the ambush. Yeah, because I don't die, right? If, if I'd been like another faction and he played that card, it would have killed off the guys I was uh, fighting him with. But because I'm um, the rascally raccoon, it just uh, it just broke some of my goods. I just gotta find optimal routes to gain the most points every turn quickly, I think is, is how the Vagabond works best, right? Find the most optimal pathing based on the items AKA my actions I have available and maximize every turn's points, point value. 
So you kind of play off how the board develops based on everyone else's turns. I mean, you can then also account for the fact that, okay, who's after who? Who can I get points from as well? Who can I give stuff to to affect someone that's taking the lead that's attacking somebody else? But that's where I think it comes in where you have the chat and you're just like, dude, we need to go after the Woodland Alliance. Everybody attack Woodland I've got a card for you. If you don't attack me this turn, I can jump over here, give you this card, you attack him. That's where the beauty of Root lies, right? Yeah, I think that's I think that's what I should be doing. I need to prepare myself. Ah, because so many games I need to practice on, man. You just gotta get plays. I just gotta get plays in. Gotta get the plays in. Plays for days. Okay, choosing a card to add to my supporters. Or he is. So we're really close. The cats just need seven points. But man, even at three minutes per turn in this game with four players, what's what's an average game length for people that know what they're doing? An hour? What is the game? I, I don't know what the estimated game length is per player in this. And speaking of turn length, in terms of asynchronous play... If you were to do this with 24-hour turn timer, I, th I forgot, was it three days total time or something you get? This probably doesn't play... This this doesn't seem like it would play so bad asynchronously since you can do so many things on your turn. Unless you have, like, kind of a dead turn where you're just, like, my next turn where I potentially am just going to repair. I'm not really doing anything else. Um, then you're kind of waiting again, but... Depends on the dominance cards, but one and a half is probably pretty normal. Is this the dominance card? Oh, there's three of them now. How does the, how do these work, Bug and Who? This is how you get. This is how you win. Because I can't claim these, right? Because I'm I don't rule anything. I just have to get to thirty. Uh, So it's something I have to keep in mind at the end there. Those end game goals, I guess. He's bringing dudes back to life after that fight. How am I getting somewhere? Let's see. I can't step quickly through either of these spots anymore. I'm kind of hurt. I can slip in and attack someone, I think, for free. So I could slip in and attack the Woodland Alliance. Now, if I do that... I can deal an extra hit. Can I use this if I do this? Or do I have to do I have to craft it? Hmm. It's an alternate victory condition and it's weirder for the vagabond. But if you claim it on your turn, you need to rule those clearings at the start of your turn to win. Yeah, it's I don't know how I would do that as a vagabond. I mean, do I Actually, speaking of, do I... How do I scroll? All right, here we go. Do I own this spot now? No. I don't have it, so it won't give it to me. So I technically can't. With Vagabond, it lets you form a coalition with the player in last place. And you play to win with them. I've never done it and don't know the details of it. That's right. I do remember that. So in this case... I'm in last place. <laughs> so it would not be smart for me to do that. If if we're not, you know, we're not understanding it 100%, right? So I need to I need to read up on that. Okay, so I have a free slip and I can attack twice. Um because I'm mean with these two dudes, Slipping into one of their spots would be good, but I'd have to slip in somewhere easy peasy. So I could slip in up here and try to gain some. Let's see, I have I have a wild up here. So I could slip in up here. 
I don't see any... No more runes anywhere for me to go for. I'm not going to be constructing anything. I'm basically slipping in and attacking, potentially. I can slip in up here and bust out a quest. I can slip in up there, bust out a quest, and try to aid him a little bit. I'm going to try this. I'm going to see if this works. Let me see if I understand how this game works. <laughs> Okay, so I'm slipping in up here. I'm going to pull off this quest right here. And then I'm going to aid him. With this. And exhaust. I'm not going to fight, so I'm going to exhaust a sword. So what does that do? How do I get him to be my buddy again? Do I have to give him two? Like, does this work? If I do this... Um, I'm trying to figure out if this works. How do... Why isn't he my buddy? How do I make you my friend, man? How do I make you my friend? How do I make him my friendly friend again? Right? Does that not work? Do I have to give him three cards? Like, what? What's a guy gotta do? Like, I don't wanna keep giving him all my, my cards. Oh, did you try to uh, pass a link, Bug and Who? Sorry. What? What was the What was the link for? I think I can. Uh, I think I can do this. Bug and Who. Allow Bug and Who. There you go. If you want to post the link now, you're good to go. Subs are. It's one of the sub perks to be able to post links in chat. There you go. Oh, it's really easy to search. Okay, yeah, yeah. I think I was kind of on the site earlier checking that out. So this game is quickly coming to an end, and I'm not understanding how to gain, become friends again now that I'm enemies with two of them. Rootlivingrules.io Oh, that, that's got a weird light. It's got a weird, like, security thing. Uh, that looks like you can't become unhostile. You can't become unhostile? Well, that was a waste of a turn. Crit knows. They don't like me anymore. That's life. That's it. I've ruined it. So, if I if I was their buddy, and then I became not their buddy, you're forever not their buddy. They, they never forgive. They have a forgiveness problem, is what you're telling me. They forgive, but they don't forget. That's a problem. That's a problem. That's a really bad, uh, that's kind of a, a thing. That's, that's not good. So I just went up there and gave him a ton of cards, thinking that it would, uh, clear it. This is what happens, guys, when you don't run the entire tutorial. When you don't read, as many say, the whole card. When you don't read all rules before you try to jump in and go next level plays. So I apologize to these guys <laughs> that I'm playing with. Uh, they're probably wondering why this guy playing the Vagabond doesn't know what he's doing right now. So, obviously, I don't know what I'm doing. I need to I need to play a little bit better. I need to figure out what is going on. So, at the beginning of my next turn, I technically could slip out. I mean, he's going to destroy me there. Like, everyone's kind of, like, down here. I could come down here, even though he doesn't like me eventually. I could get into the woods from here. Uh, it's, pretty, it's a pretty long run, huh? I'm kind of in a bad spot. Because I don't have enough feet anymore, and I'm damaged. So it's almost like I got to jump here 
and repair my foot. Unless I want to visit my friends, the cats. Uh, somewhere. I'm now seeing how this all works out. My cats are nowhere to be found near me. I've been I've been blocked from my cat allies. Blocked out of my cat ally friends. Dang. Dang dogs, dang. Yeah, now I, now I'm like, okay, th this feels this feels like one of those games where, yeah, I played a tutorial quick with the Vagabond for the first time. I kind of did the cats. I understand how the cats are working. They're getting all these points from all these buildings and moving around and attacking dudes and buildings and stuff like everybody else. Get it. Um, this feels like one of those things where I play half a game. I'm like, okay, 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 stop, start over. <laughs> like, I now know. I feel like I should have... Uh, I want to I start over again. Let's start over again. Okay, guys. Let's, let's wrap it up. Let's, uh, let's wrap it up. Let's do it again. Let's play it again. Let's play it again. I get it now. I understand now. I see now. I see now. I see now how this is supposed to work, right? I see now. I can see clearly now. The rain is gone. You know what I mean? Just gotta check this. Gotta answer this. Okay. Okay, okay. So, Coalition. This is what happens when you take the Dominance cards up here, according to Bug and Who, as the Vagabond. Removes your score marker from the board. You form a Coalition, the lowest score marker on the board. And if they win the game, you win too. Ah, yes, I remember this. This sounds familiar. So, if I'm the lowest score on the board, Bug and Who... Oh, mine's removed. I see. It would be the Woodland Alliance. So, if I think the Woodland Alliance, based on their current... They have one... They have... Let's see. My, so, Mouse. One... It's all about seeing what they have taken, right? So, he currently only owns a mouse and a fox. He doesn't have dominate dominance of anything else. So, it's almost a timing thing, right? So, mouse and fox. Mouse. Wait, this means he dominates it, right? Right here? So, green. The green banner. So, he only has a mouse, is what we're seeing. So, I need to keep an eye on when... Oh, so I maybe choose. I would choose here based on what he does. So he could potentially grab one, two. So he has two of the mice here. It's almost not a bad idea to grab this now. Everyone could win in a turn. Might not be a bad move. Right. Since they're so close to winning, if I can, if he doesn't score any VP this turn, which he probably will. Then, then, Oh, yeah. Okay, so he's going to score some VP this turn. Like, I could try to gain... I should have paid attention. Okay, so now he's not the lowest. I was going to say, I could, I could jump in on him. On his win condition is kind of the idea here, right? Because, yeah, I mean, I'm going to go repair, and I'm so far behind. Because all he would need to do is be able to take this one. And I would help him do so. Uh, for orange team. Team orange. But he's not in last place anymore, so that's a bad move. That, that'd be a bad choice. Um, blue tabards. He's in first place, so he's not going anywhere. Dang. Okay. Another strategy. I gotta pay attention to this. It's almost very important, especially when I'm behind on the on the score track, huh? Okay, so we're ducking into the woods, man. We're out of here. We're ducking in the woods. 
should have kept that card or should have tried to look for that card or something. I mean, I could attack. Like, there's no reason I can't attack. Right? In my clearing here, I mean, he gains, he gets the higher roll. That's the problem. This isn't a fox clearing. Oh, I could come down here. Oh. Oh, but I need three hammers to do this. Go with the Woodland Alliance. Try to hurt the birds as much as you can and cross my fingers. If I go with the Woodland Alliance, I have to pick which one I think he can get, though. It would be the foxes, right? The foxes and hurt the birds. And like you said, in order to pop, in order to pop this card, I have to have three hammers in a fox area to do it. And I only have one hammer. So that's a problem. Uh, that's a big problem. Okay. And they are still playing for points. Right. I just wouldn't. So where do I want to go? Or do I... I could try to attack here. I think I want to duck out, though. I think I want to duck out of here. And I got to repair. Just what a slow turn. Repair all the things. Get all the stuff. Get some cards. Like... How am I supposed to get more hammers? I have to wait for other people to craft them, right? I mean, there's one here. So there's one in the resource pile there. I have one. There's one, two, and then... Are there any ruins that I haven't gotten? I don't see any ruins left. Did I get all the ruins in this game? No, right here and here. No, that's wood. There's no more ruins. So where... How do I get four hammers? How do I... How would I trigger this? Oh my gosh. They are battling it out right here. I'm curious how I can pull this off. Because I'd love to do this one if I could get three hammers. Outrage! Birdies are going for it. Birdies are going strong. This is going way longer. This game's taking a lot longer than I thought it would, man. Not that my next level plays are helping at all. Alright, so what am I going to try to do? Okay, so now all my things are worth 2 VP if I can pull them off. so far behind. Yeah, and I'm sure there's a rule. Yeah, here's a rules reference right here. Crafting requirement. Yeah, so to craft that, I would need three hammers. I don't understand how I can get that. I know the other guys can, but I think that means I can't. Oh, I think I lost. <laughs> Oh, and the Eerie is the winner! That's a mission fail for me. But congratulations to Brockton, who created the game. We got last. But guys, but guys, we learned a lot. Today, we learned I am not the best little raccoon guy to be running around and stabby stabbing. I have a lot to learn in Root. But the idea with this to let various people today as they pop in, as the mobile version is now live, pop in and see what's going on. I learned a lot, though, thanks to you guys. 
Bugging who at the end here, popping in with a lot of tips and keep the music going. A lot of tips and help. That was awesome. I really appreciate it. Um, the game's beautiful, sounds great, runs well. Everything's there. The tutorial's pretty dang good. I ran through the cats and the, and the vagabonds. It's going to help majorly to run through the other two. Um, and see what some of these, like, I didn't see anything about, like, the, the in-game cards and stuff like that. Learning the stuff about how the Vagabond can, can co build a coalition with a team is something I need to look into a little bit more. Um, I mean, it, it was a grind. <laughs> Great work. I appreciate that. But I need more time in the game, and that'll only come from playing more games. Or just playing locally. It's got local play available as well. If anyone's curious, if you want to play just, like, pass and play, solo play... They've got it here, and they've even had that challenge mode, which I think would help a lot in terms of uh, figuring out puzzles and going for point values and stuff like that. Um, the game's cool. The game's great. It's got a good following. P lots of people adore this game, uh, so I recommend checking out iOS, Android. Uh, it's now on Steam. Uh, next week when Lyle gets back, I know he's been waiting weeks to play me in this. I'm now ready. I don't know. I, th I think I'm going to practice with the Vagabond a little bit more, um, and I just got to beat Lyle. Right? I don't have to win the game. I just got to beat Lyle. Uh, but I love the twists and turns that this game provides uh, in terms of uh, being able to get that win, right? Get that win. Um, but today, we're signing off. We're going to say fairly well to the best camp on Twitch. Um, this went a little bit longer than I expected. I thought I would do a quick stream here. So I got to get back to the fam. Got to get going. Everyone, enjoy your weekend. Play lots of games. Uh, stay safe. Um, and we appreciate everyone's support this weekend and last weekend. Lyle will be back this uh, Monday night. I'm going to try to join him Monday night as Matt is gone. So there won't be any Arkham yet. Arkham is on the way. Um, but we're going to play some games. So stay tuned to the discord.gg slash crit camp. Hop on Twitter. Say hello. And thanks for all the support, everyone. We look forward to talking to you soon. Check out Root. Peace, good gaming. Go. Play. I'm going to get this. Some games. All right. I'll see you guys uh, next week. See you next week.